Hi, Zach. Hal Jacobs, PGA professional at Worcester Country Club. Just uh, taking a look at your golf swing here. A lot of really good improvements uh, over the last time we talked. It looks it looks really good um, compared to uh, before, and I think uh, there's a lot of great things going on in your golf swing. So let's take a look uh, as we bring the club back. Uh, it's a little bit outside the line, which um, isn't the worst thing in the world. I've seen a lot of great players. But I think here at the top is where you lose it a little bit. It's a little bit too far back, especially for a six iron. Uh, I've got uh, Steve Flesh, who's another left-handed uh, guy and played on tour, still plays on tour, a pretty good player. And uh, just take a look at the top of his backswing. He's probably got a five iron here. And that's the top of his backswing. The club doesn't go any further back than that. Uh, the, the second uh, thing, if I had to make any... Uh, suggestions was that your hips need to rotate a little bit sooner if you see look at the start of your downswing here um, and you can see that uh, your hands and arms go first if we uh, come back over here to Steve Flesh and we look at the start of his downswing take a look at how his hips are starting to rotate and it, the hips rotating pull his hands down so when he gets an impact Look what he looks like. Uh, as you get down an impact, take a look at the difference. So his hips are a little more rotated around. Um, but again, you're doing some really good gut things, and those are just the two keys that I would probably focus in on in terms of your uh, long game. Uh, you know, in the short game, we worked on a couple things. Here was your... Uh, pitch shot before we did anything so you see the top of your backswing looks like this and out of the deep rough it's, it's hard to make a uh, shot that um, that comes up in the air you know I like you to use your sandwich as much as you can around the green but uh, your angle of attack uh, is going to be in this U shape uh, and I think that as you get and find that you need to get in deeper rough and get it higher your angle of attack, attack needs to be more like that red line. So a little bit later on in the lesson here, take a look. Here's what um, here's what the the back swing looks like. Remember we were talking about hinging your wrist. So uh, there's a lot more angle. So uh, let's talk about angle here. Go down the forearm and come up the shaft, as opposed to down the forearm and up the shaft. So I think hinging your wrist right away uh, on shots that are in the deep rough are definitely the way to go, and you'll hit higher and softer shots. It'll, it'll make your up and downs a little bit better. So, Zach, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, or uh, the next time you see me, uh, stop by and ask me some questions. Let me know how it goes.